Hi, I'm Lauren from WellElephant.com and today I'm going to talk to you about how to travel when you eat a plant-based diet without oil and you're traveling by car. So this is great if you follow Forks Over Knives or Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease, Dr. McDougall or Dr. Stoll. Um, they all recommend that you eat plant-based without oil. And so this is how you do it by car. Luckily, this is the easy way to travel. You get to pack a cooler, a huge cooler with as much food as you want. So I start by bringing a gigantic thing of Pad Thai. This is like my go-to travel food. It's Isa Chandra Moskowitz's Everyday Pad Thai made without oil or nuts. And then I always travel with a gigantic thing of lentils and quinoa and a little bit of greens and some kombucha squash. Trust me on this, don't take rice and beans. Take quinoa and lentils. They travel much better. Um, you're gonna end up eating them cold a lot of times and rice and beans get really dry and kind of icky. So huge thing of this, huge thing of this. It doesn't have to be these two things, but just something that you're not going to mind eating cold. And I'll tell you what, half the time and also bring a fork. If you're a nice, decent human being, you can be, like bring a bowl and eat out of that, but I'm just gonna end up eating out of these big containers while my husband's driving, and I'm just gonna stuff my face <clears throat> because that's really, I'm just telling you the truth. So I bring things like that. I bring a big thing of berries. I bring apples. I probably bring one apple for every day that I'll be gone because they just travel so well. I bring like peppers, maybe some sugar snap peas, um, some oil-free hummus. This is great with uh, your peppers or even some crackers. I bring like Mary's crackers just for, you know, I might bring one box for my whole trip and probably not even finish it because they're kind of high in fat. I tend to eat these more because they're low in fat. They're called Scandinavian Fiber Crisp Bread and they are not delicious, I'm not gonna lie to you. But they're filling, <laughs> they're filling and fiberful uh, and low in fat. So I bring those and then I bring a gigantic, well, this is not gigantic, it would probably be three times this big of cereal. And um, I like to mix three different kinds of cereals. I do a little sprinkling of this because it's not the healthiest thing and it has a little bit of honey in it. Mostly it's these two guys. It's uh, just some raw oats and puff kamut. Kamut, can never say that. <laughs> um, so these two guys sprinkled in with a little bit of this for flavor. And then I put a ton of cinnamon. I put some raisins, I shake it all up. And then I have this delicious little thing. And I bring a bowl and I bring a spoon and then I eat that. To tell you the truth, I eat this mostly as a snack and not even for breakfast and I'll put my berries in it um, a lot of times you know I just eat the oatmeal from the hotel but later in the day if I didn't get like a great dinner or something like that I'll go back to my hotel and have this as a little snack but again don't forget your bowl don't forget your spoon and don't forget your plant milk this is my favorite thing uh, I love oat milk and a secret is you need something to transport your oat milk because a lot of times you will be going to like the dining room or a restaurant to go have your coffee or to have your cereal. If you are going to have this for breakfast or even if it's just for your, for your coffee, try to get a leak-proof container. That way you can pour this in here, leave this in your room. Um, if you don't have a leak-proof container and you just have something like this, you're going to be carrying this in. Do not put this in your purse or your bag. It will spill all over. I have done that before and it's just, it's disgusting. So have a leak proof container so you can transport your oat milk to wherever you're going to be dining. And then um, something else that I bring and I eat a lot of on the road, I make organic corn tortillas in the oven. I bake them at like 400 degrees for, you know, till they're brown. I don't know, it's like 10 minutes maybe. Um, so I take these and I also bring another bag to transport these to dinner, like if I'm going out for Mexican food or something like that, or sometimes, um, you know, just you're having like a little appetizer with somebody and you see salsa in the menu, on the menu, you can have this. And it is so, it makes
makes me so happy just to even think about it. So, you know, I pack it in a little bag and then, you know, crunch them up. And then um, I have an organic corn tortilla chip and I can eat that with salsa. So bring stuff like that so that you don't feel deprived when you're out eating with other people. Um, so now here's the thing. When you get back on the road to come home, you're likely going to be out of food. So the thing you're going to do is you're going to get on the internet and you are going to look in your area and find a pizza place and call up and say, do you have a pizza crust that does not have um, eggs in it? You want to make sure it's, it's vegan. And it might have a little oil in it, but you're not going to worry about it at this point. This is why you eat the way you do 99% of the time. So this 1% of the time, you know, you can make the exception. So you're going to say, um, do you have a, a pizza crust that doesn't have eggs in it? Likely they'll say yes. If not, you call it the next place. So you get however long it's going to take you to get home get it enough pizza. You might find other things you could eat. Of course, you could go to the grocery store, but I'm just giving you the easy solution. So you have enough pizza to make it the whole way home. If that means two large pizzas, that's fine. You will have empty Tupperware at this point. All of your food's gonna be gone, so you can pack it in that. Ask them just to put um, a little bit of uh, marinara, whatever pizza sauce they have, a little bit of that, and just raw vegetables. Make sure it's not like caramelized onions or anything that'll have oil in it. So just like, I like to get like red onion and mushroom and green pepper, and then I like to have them put arugula or spinach, a lot of that on top of it, and just have them cook it, and then that's it. You're gonna just be eating on that the whole time for your car ride home. That's it. Um, if you wanna, Keep in touch with me. I would love that. If you could go to Lauren at wellelephant.com, email me any questions. I will be more than happy. I promise I will answer you back. Lauren at wellelephant.com. And also, if you want to go to my website, wellelephant.com, um, you can download a free three-day meal plan and grocery list, and then you'll be added to my email list. And like once a week or once every other week, sometimes a little longer than that, I will email you you know, a recipe or just um, tips like this. So just to make your life a little bit easier when you're eating plant-based without oil, it's a little bit tough. But anyway, I appreciate it. And if you will do me a favor and like and share this video so that people who eat the way we eat can get access to this information, I would greatly appreciate it. And safe travel.